have seen that most of the surahs of the Quran are in the form of prayers. This relationship has been very evident regarding these last four surahs of the Hamim series. We have seen the Surah to Zuhruf and Surah to Dukhan. Both started Hamim wal Kitab al Mubin. Both of them. Now the next pair. Surat Al-Jasiyah and Surat Al-Ahqaf, both starting Hamim Tanzeel Al-Kitab Min Allah Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. Also we find that most of these surahs begin with the mention of Qur'an. Now the last surah of this series of Hamim, Surat Al-Ahqaf. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hamim. تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز الحكيم the same the sending down of this book is from Allah who is all authority all powerful and all wise ما خلقنا السماوات والأرض وما بينهما إلا بالحق we have not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them but with truth and for a fixed period of time. This universe will not go on and go on forever, no. This used to be the idea, maybe about a half a century back, the era of Newtonian physics, Newton, Newtonian physics. The idea was that matter has been here from ever, it will remain forever. The law of indestructibility of matter. Matter cannot be destroyed. So this world, this universe cannot come to an end. This was the idea prevalent among the physicists. But now the things have changed. Now, on the one hand they say this universe is expanding. The theory of expanding universe. And then the time will come when it will fall on itself. And it will come to an end. Started from one point and it will go to the same one point again. So, Ajal in Musamma, this is not an eternal creation. As for those who have disbelieved, they are turning away from what they are being warned. Say to them, See, consider whom you are calling upon besides Allah, Aruni Maja Khalaku bin al Ard. Please show me. What have they created in the land, in the earth? Am Lahum Shirkush Samawat. Or do you have any partnership in the heavens? Bring to me. Any book which might have been sent down before this book that I am presenting. Oh, Asharatun min ilmin. If not a book, any remnants of knowledge. In kuntum sadiqeen, if you are truthful. وَمَنْ أَظَلُّ مِمَّنْ يَدْعُو مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ مَنْ لَا يَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Who is more farther astray than the person who is calling upon whom Calling upon him besides Allah, who is not going to answer him till the day of resurrection. And they are unawares that somebody is calling upon them. The angels, they don't know that some, some people are there in Arabia praying to us, calling to us. Maybe the souls and spirits of the saints. They might be absolutely unaware that someone is saying, Ya Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Shayyan Lillah, Oh Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, give me something. They would be unawares. وَهُمْ عَنْ دُعَائِهِمْ قَافِلُونَ وَإِذَا خُشِرَ النَّاسُ قَالُوا لَهُمْ عَادَان And when the mankind will be gathered, they will become enemies for them. وَقَالُوا بِعِبَادَتِهِمْ قَافِرِينَ and they will deny having been worshipped. وَإِذَا تُطْلَعَ لَهِمْ آيَاتُنَا بَيِّنَاتٍ 
And when our clear and shining revelations are recited unto them, قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاهُمْ هَذَا سَيْرُ مُبِينَ Those people who disbelieve, who have rejected, they say about this truth which has come to them, this is clear sorcery and magic. أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهُ Do they say that Muhammad has forged it, composed it himself, صلى الله عليه وسلم, قُلِنْ افْتَرَيْتُهُ فَلَا تَمْلِكُونَ لِي مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيَا Say, if I have forged it, then you don't have any authority to save me from Allah's wrath. This is the biggest crime in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَا تَمْلِكُونَ دِي مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيَا You won't be able to help me against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. هُوَ عَالَمُ بِمَا تُفِيزُونَ فِيهِ He very well knows what you say among yourselves concerning it. When you are alone, you say, no, this what Muhammad is presenting, well, it seems to be beyond human power. They say, no, 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 where are you going? It seems, you know, his magic has come over you. So, but these in their private meetings, they used to admit, this is our other source. This is not, him. This is not the composition of Muhammad himself. كَفَى بِهِ شَهِدًا بَيْنِ وَبَيْنَكُمْ Allah is sufficient as a witness between you and me. وَهُوَ الْغَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ And He is the forgiving, the merciful. قُلْ مَا كُنْتُ بِدَعَ مِنَ الرُّسُلِ Say, I am not the first messenger that no messenger had come before me. بِدَعَ and بِدَعَ means something absolutely new. In our Sharia, if some new rite or ritual is invented without having any proof in the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sunnah of the Sahaba, then we call it Bid'ah, because it has no roots. So, Ma kunto bid'ah min rusul The case is not that I am the first messenger of Allah and nobody had before me claimed to be messenger of Allah. Wa ma adhima you follow me. This ayah, when I, whenever I read and pass by it, I shiver. What is Muhammad saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and what he is being commanded here to say? وَمَادْرِ مَا يُفَدُوا بِي وَلَا بِكُمْ I don't know what will be done to me and to you. This is extreme humility before Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. My battle is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever he will decide. Allahumma inni abduka wa abnu abdika wa abnu amatika fi qabzatika nazil fiya hukmuka adlul fiya qadawuka Oh Allah, I am your bondsman. My father was also a slave of yours. My mother was also a slave of yours. And I am in your grip, fi qabzatika. Nasiyati biyadik. My forehead is in your hand. Mazil fi yahukmuk. Within my body, within myself, your command, your command is effective. Adilun fi yaqazaw. Whatever you command and decide for me, it will be justice. This is abdiyah. The climax of abdiyat. A man reduces himself to nearly zero. I have nothing to Allah. Everything is with you. You know everything, I know nothing. This is a part of that very important dua of istikhara about which the companions of the Prophet say that the Prophet taught us this, this prayer. Just like he taught us Quran. Allahumma inni astakhiru ka bilmika wa astakhdiru ka biqudratika wa asaluka bil fazlika al-azim fa inna ka taqdiru wa la akhdiru wa ta'alamu wa la alamu. You have all the authority, I have no authority. You know everything, I don't know anything. This is humility, humbleness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
قل ما كنت بدعا من الرسل وما ادري ما يفعل بي ولا بكم ان اتبع الا ما يوحى الي only i am following what is being revealed to me that's all وما انا الا نذير مبين and i am only a warner plain and clear warner قل ارايت من كان من عند الله وكفرت به وشاهد شاهد من بني اسرائيل على مثله say to them just consider if this quran which i am presenting is really from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have rejected it on the other hand a witness from among the children of israel he has testified that this is correct now this i about the interpretation of this ayah there are many opinions one is that it's common all the people who accept quran accepted quran from among the bani israel yahud so this i had endorsed to them when up in his person especially abdullah ibn salam radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he was a very knowledgeable person among the learned people of jews and some say this denotes to the prophecies made by hazrat musa and hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam wallahu alam faamana wastakbartu so he confirmed and you are showing arrogance in la la yadil qaum zalimin verily allah does not love such evil doers wa qala alladhina kafaru lil ladhina amanu law kana khairam ma sabquna ilayhi and so said those who disbelieved regarding those who came to believe they were common people poor people some of the slaves some of whom you call handy men just as khabab al arad he was a blacksmith and so on and so forth now the chiefs of the clans of quraish they said had this thing been a precious thing these people would not have come forward accepted them we should have come forward first and accepted it because allah is generous to us he has given us wealth he has given us position honor power so how how come that these menials maazallah how could they come forward they could not have superseded us and they would disbelieve say of those who believe if this message what a good thing they would have not attained it before us wa idlam yahtadu bihi and when they have not accepted its guidance so they yaqulu da hada iskul qadim so now they will say this is an old falsehood wa min qablihi kitab musa imam wa rahma before this quran there was a book of moses alayhi salatu wassalam that was the guide and mercy imam wa rahma these words appear in our dua our prayers regarding when we say to allah allahumma rabbana anis fahshatana fi quburina warhamna bil quran al azim waj'al lana imama wa nura wa hudan wa rahma make this quran leader for us so that we follow it imama wa rahma wa hadha kitabun musaddiq lisan al arabiyyin and this is the book which has come confirming torah in arabic language lajunzal alladhina zalamu so that these people who have gone astray they should be warned wa bushra lil muhsinin and so that there should be glad tidings for those who achieve excellence in their deen of islam and iman inna alladhina qalu rabbana allah huwa do muhsinin there is those who said our lord is allah and then they stuck to it they stood firm in it firm regarding aqida and creed firm regarding practice and deeds really obeying him and not obeying anyone else in which there comes a disobedience for allah subhanahu wa taala not loving anything anyone more than allah this is istiqama to say rabbul allah is easy but to show firmness on it is not an easy job allah ibn bal said in persian 
جو می گویم مسلمانم بل لرزم ون آئی سے آئی ایم اے مسلم آئی ٹریمبل وائی کہ دانم مشکلات لا الہ رہا آئی نو وٹ آر دی ڈیفیکلٹیز آف دس لا الہ الا اللہ سینگ دس ورڈ دس ورڈ از ویری ایزی بٹ ٹو فلفل دیم ان یور پریکٹس اینڈ ایکشن از ناٹ این ایزی جاب سو آئی ٹریمبل الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون فدم دير بي نو فير اند نو غريف اولئك اصحاب الجنه دي ويل بي دي دولرز اوف دي جاردن خالدين فيها اند دي ويل ستي دير فور ايفر فور ايفر جزاء بما كانوا يعملون ان شيل بي دي ريكمبنس اور ريوارد فور وات دي هاد بين دوينج وہ بس ہے نا انسان ابھی والد ہے اینڈ وی ہیو انجوائنڈ اپون مین کائنڈنس ٹوورڈس ہز پیرنٹس دس وی ہیو ریڈ ان سورت الرحمان آلسو بٹ ہیئر احسانا دس ورڈ ہیز کم کلیئرلی کائنڈنس اینڈ گڈ بہیویئر اینڈ رسپیکٹ اینڈ سروس ٹو دی پیرنٹس حملت امہو قرحن و وضاعت ہو قرحا His mother kept bearing him in his womb with hardship and then delivered him with hardship. وَفِسَالُهُ سَلَاسُونَ شَهْرَا وَحَمْلُهُ وَفِسَالُهُ And this period of the bearing and the weaning of him is 30 months. حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَ شُدَّهُ Until when he reaches his maturity, and reaches the age of 40. This place is very important. Quran says, the maturity of human beings is at the age of 40. What type of maturity is it? Physical maturity, 16, 17, 18, you are mature, fully. But this is the psychological maturity. The psychological maturity of a person, it is at 40 years. Hatta iza balaga ashuddahu. Until when he reaches his maturity, and now it has been explained, wa balaga arbaina saratan. That is, he attained the age of 40. Qala rabbi auzirni. Now he says, O my Lord, grant me. ان اشکر نعمت کلتی انمت علی و علی والدی so that I can give thanks to you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon me and my parents وان عامل صالحا عامل صالحا and grant me that I should do good deeds righteous deeds ترضاہو which you like with which you are pleased وَاسْلِحْ لِي فِي ذُرِّيَتِي and also make my progeny good for me if my progeny is also righteous the dear deeds will add to you know my reward in the hereafter as they leave his reality in the top to like i turn my face towards you my name is muslim and definitely i am from among those who have surrendered themselves before your will. This is very important. Before this age of 40, let me say that nature uses man. Man comes to himself at the age of 40. Nature is using us. Nature wants that there should be procreation, this generation after generation, this world is to continue, it has to be inhabited. So you know it, run away, run this way, that way, get married, now you are children, now just bring them up. So nature is using you until this age, passions, emotions, sentiments, in most of the peoples, they get the upper hand. But at the age of 40, you know, these things, 
somewhat settled down. And then the man thinks who I am, where I am heading, and at this stage, if he is still a tool in the hands of his id or libido, then he is doomed. But at this age, if he delivers himself from the overpowering of the id or libido, comes to himself, he takes up to himself an ideal, an asmal ayan, I have to live for this, die for this. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَبَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ So he is the person, blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أُولَائِكَ الَّذِينَ نَتَقَبَّلُوا عَنْهُمْ أَحْسَنَ مَا عَمِلُوا They are those from whom we shall accept the best deeds that they would have been committing. وَنَتَجَاوَزُ عَنْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ And we shall just overlook their evils. There can be no human being absolutely free from any bad deed. There is a hadith of the Prophet, كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمَ خَطَّعُونَ وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّعِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ All children of Adam, they commit mistakes. But the best among these people who commit mistakes are those who repent, come back, refresh their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask his forgiveness. They are the best people. So now Allah says, we shall just ignore. Maybe they have committed something wrong also. But if the general direction of the life, general direction is correct, you have turned your face actually to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَتَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا عَنَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ You are proceeding in that direction. But during this journey, maybe at some time you slip, you fall. Okay, no harm. Stand up. Continue the journey. So these pitfalls might be there. But the direction has to be correct. And if your direction is correct, maybe you have not been able to achieve much, no harm. If you kept on in that direction, and you kept on spending whatever you had for that purpose, well, you are successful in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Despite the pitfalls, despite any shortcomings, despite any evil deeds which might have happened, and we join them, make them enter. And go with the dwellers of the garden. This is the true promise which was made with them. Now this is one character. That when he is mature psychologically, he says, He has come to know his creator, his Lord, and is praying to him. But there is another character also. وَالَّذِي قَالَ لِوَالِدَيْهِ On the contrary, the one who says to his parents, اُفِّلْ لَكُمَا فَائِ to both of you. اَتَعِدَانِ نِي اَنْ اُخْرَجَ You say that I will be taken out again from my grave. وَقَدْ خَلَتِ الْقُرُونَ مِنْ قَبْلِ So many generations have passed before me. وَهُمَا يَسْتَغِيسَانِ اللَّهَ وَإِلَكَ آمِنْ and the parents, father and mother, they are imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying to him, Woe to thee! Believe! Believe that you will be rejected. Don't go in the opposite direction. Verily, the promise of Allah is true. فَيَقُولُ Then he says, مَا هَذَا إِلَّا أَسَاتِرُ الْأَوَّلِ No, no, no. Mother and father, you keep these things with you. I am not going to believe in these things. I think these are the fables of the ancients and nothing else. So both characters you will find in the world. Those are they against whom has been proved through the word of chastisement among the communities of the jinn and mankind that have passed away before them. So many people going. He is also one of them. In Nahum Kanu Khasarin, verily they were the losers. 
ولی کل ان درجات میں معاملو فرال دیر آر رینکس اکارڈنگ ٹو دیئر ڈیڈس آل پیپل آف دی گارڈن آر ناٹ ایکول دیر آر لیولس ان دی سیم وے ان دی ہیلتھ دے آر ناٹ ایکولی ٹریٹڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف چیسٹائٹمنٹس فار ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف پیپل ولی یو آف فیا ہوم آما لہم وہم لا یوز لمون سو دیٹ اللہ پیز دیم بیک ان فل They are deeds and they are not wrong. وَيَوْمَ يَوْرَضُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُ وَلَنَّارِ And the day, we call the day, when those people who are disbelieving, they will be presented before the fire. This is, come and see with your eyes. أَذْهَبْتُمْ تَيِّبَاتِكُمْ فِي حَيَاتِكُمُ الدُّنِيَا And it will be said, You received all good things in the in your life of that world, which is now gone. You enjoyed. You rejoiced. You had plenty. You had the luxuries. You have tasted all good things in that world. Was come to Adam Beha, and you have enjoyed their comfort. فَلْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْحُونَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَقْبِرُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ وَبِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَفْسُقُونَ But today, this day, you will be given reward, the chastisement of humiliation and degradation due to the arrogance that you were showing in the earth, فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ without any right. وَبِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَقُونَ And because of your transgressing. وَذْكُرْ أَخَاعَاد Just make a mention of the brother of the nation of Aad. That is, Hazrat Ehud alayhi salatu wassalam. After the people of Nuh were destroyed, that was the first nation which came up. From the sons of Sam alayhi salatu wassalam. Semitic races. The first was who went down directly to the south and settled in the southern area of the Arabian Peninsula, which is now called Ahqaf. Ahqaf means the mountains of sand. It's a very, very, very severe type of desert. And But at that time, it was very fertile. Now, when the Azab of Allah came, chastisement after that, it is now the worst Worst ever desert in the world. Vaskur Akhaad. Now just mention, make mention of the brother of Aad, that is Hud alayhi salam. Is under a qawmahu bil ahqaf. When he warned his people in the sand hills, وَقَدْ خَلَتِ النُّدُرُ مِنْ مَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ And other warners had passed before him also. And so. You know, Nabi and Rasul, many Anbiya can come, but finally the Messenger comes, the Rasul comes, and then the fate is decided. Allah ta'abudu illallah, all of them had been saying them, don't worship and obey anyone except Allah. Inni akhafu alaykum azaba yawmin azim. Verily, I fear for you the chastisement of a mighty day. قَالُوا جَيْتَنَا لِتَعْفِقَنَا عَنَا لِحَتِنَا They said, have you come to us and you want to turn us away from our gods? فَاتِنَا بِمَا تَعِدُنَا إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ If you are truthful, now bring to us the chastisement which you are threatening us with. Bring it. قَالَ إِنَّمَا الْعِلْمُ إِنَّ اللَّهِ He said, knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When your, terms, your term comes to an end, he knows. When the judgment will be issued by Allah, he knows. I don't know. I am only conveying to you the message with which I have been sent. But verily I see, O oh my people, that you are ignorant people. You are not seeing what could happen. 
فلما راہو آردن مستقبل آودیت ہیم and when they saw a sudden cloud advancing towards their valleys قالو they were happy قالو هذا آرد الممترونا this is a cloud it will give us rain بل هو مستعجل تم بھی no 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 it is not the rain it's that chastisement about which you wanted to hasten you wanted rain ok let us come ریحن فی هذا ابن علیم a very strong and harsh wind in which there was a painful chastisement. To them there kulla shahin. Destroying everything the amre rabbeha. Due to the Lord of their, due to the command of their Lord. Fasbahu la yura illa masakidhum. Now they became that nothing was seen, nothing was visible except their dwellings. People who dwell there they were not to be seen. Finished. كَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْقَوْمُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ In this way, we reward the people who are guilty. وَلَقَدْ مَكَّنَّاهُ فِي مَا إِمْ مَكَّنَّاكُ فِي And O Quraysh, we established them in this land more than we have established you. Whatever we gave to Aad, we have not given to you. وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ سَمْعًا وَأَبْصَارًا وَأَفِدًا And for them also, we give them the these Hearing and seeing and inferring from Aghna and whom some of whom were Afsarum and Afidatum and Shay. Nothing of these faculties could avail them anything. Is Ghanu Yajaduna be Ayatillah. When they were rejecting the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wahaka Behim Makanu Behi Astahzihun, and the things about which they were mocking, they came and they encircled him. وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا مَا حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْقُرَى وَصَرَّفْنَا الْآيَاتِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ فَلَوْلَا نَصَرَهُمُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ قُرْبَانًا آلِهَا بَلْ ضَلُّوا عَنْهُمْ وَذَالِكَ إِفْكُهُمْ وَمَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ صدق الله العظيم The last section of Surah Al-Ahqaf وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا مَا حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْقُرَى And we destroyed Many a townships which were around you. Now who are addressed are the Quraysh of Mecca. Now Aad, they used to live to the south east of Mecca. Samud, they used to live in the northwest of Mecca. So these were the nations round about Mecca. وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا مَا حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْقُرَى وَصَرَّفْنَا الْآيَاتِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ and we verily expounded our revelations for them in various forms so that they come back and return to us. فَلَوْلَا نَصَرَهُمُ الَّذِينَ تَخَذُوا بِالدُّونِ اللَّهِ قُرْبَانًا عَلَيْهَا Then why did not those help him whom they have taken as mediator gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They couldn't come to their help. بَوْضَلُّوا عَنْهُمْ But all of them were lost to them. وَذَلِكَ إِفْكُهُمْ And it was their lie, a forgery. وَمَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ And that was what they were forging. وَإِسْتَرَفْنَا إِلَيْكَ نَفَرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ Now this incident which is being mentioned here now, it took place in the tenth year after the beginning of Wahi to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is to say about two years before Hijrah. In the tenth year after the beginning of Wahi, and this year the Prophet ﷺ gave the title Amul Huzn. This is the year of grief for us. Why? Number one, Khadiyat al Kubra radiallahu ta'ala anha died. A wife who used to console, she has gone. Number two, Abu Talib died, the chief of the clan of Banu Hashim, who used to protect, gone. Now, there was no support, visible support, for Muhammad at Makkah. His own people were not so strong, not more than 100, 125 people, total. They couldn't withstand the whole power of Quraysh. 
So that is why he went to Taif. Maybe if some chief of the tribes of Taif accepts Islam, then he can shift there and that would become the base of his movement. But what happened to him there had not happened to him personally even in ten long years at Makkah. He was stoned, he bled like anything, then very harsh words he had to listen, not only from the three chiefs, all three of them rejected him, but also they instigated the youth, the street urchins, I should say, stoning, and they were stoning him like anything. Now when he was returning from Taif, he stayed for the night at Nakhla. Nakhla is a point in between Makkah and Taif. There he was offering his tahajjud prayer or maybe fajr prayer, reciting Quran. At that time, a group of jinns passed by. They heard, they came nearer, listened to Quran. Then they believed in it. Then they went to their people, asking them to believe in Muhammad So this is a very important incident of the life of the prophets. And recall when we turn towards you, a group of the jinn, just tamiyun al Quran, to hear the Quran. And when they were present there, where they were in the presence of Quran, they said, keep quiet, be silent, listen attentively. As we have read in Surah Al Araf, فَإِذَا قُرِيَ الْقُرَانُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنْسِتُوا and Quran is being recited. Now with full attention, listen to it and keep quiet. This, that is the word, ansetu, keep quiet. Falamma qudiyah, and when you know the recitation was completed, wallahu ila qawmihim munzireen, they turned their backs, they went to their people, their nation, warning them. Talu, they said, ya qawmana, oh our people, our nation. Inna samayna kitaban, we have heard and listened to a book, Unzula Mimbade Musa, which has been sent down after Moses. This is another indication. They might have known Injil, but Injil was not a book, it was hikmah only. It was no sharia to be followed, no commandments, no halal and haram, no laws. So here they are mentioning, after the book of Musa, Ya qawmana, inna sabi'ina kitaban unzila min ba'di Musa, musaddiqa lima bana yadahi. And this book confirms that which is present before us. That is Torah. Yahdi ila al-haq. And this book is guiding towards the right path, truth. Wa ila tariqi mustaqeen. And towards the straight path. Ya qawmana ajibu da'i Allah. Over people, respond to Allah's caller and summoner. Respond positively. Say labbaik to his call. Ajibu da'i Allah. Now this is very important. They heard and listened to Quran only once. And they became the muballireen. They became the callers. What's the case with us? Go on listening and listening and listening and listening. Every year listening. Every year listening. But we are not motivated. We don't stand and call people to this book or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or to Islam, actual Islam, factual Islam. Ya qawmana ajibu da'i Allah wa aminu bihi and believe in it, yaqfir lakum min zunubikum. Your Lord will forgive you some of your sins. And He will protect you and deliver you from the painful chastisement. 
and whosoever doesn't respond to the Allah's summoner or caller, for there's some emojis in Firdaus, he cannot defeat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the earth. وَلَيْسَ لَهُ مِن دُونِهِ عَلِيَّا And there will not be for him, besides Allah, any protectors. أُولَائِكَ فِي ضُلَالِ مُبِينَ Verily, those people will be in manifest error. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ الَّذِي خَلْقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَلَمْ يَعْيَا بِخَلْقِهِنَّ بِقَادِرِنَ لَا يُحِيَ الْبَوْتَ Don't they see? Can't they understand that Allah who created the heavens and the earth and He was not tired or exhausted due to their creation? Is He not capable? بِقَادِرِنَ لَا يُحِيَ الْمَوْتَ To revive the dead. بَلَا Why not? He is capable. إِنَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِ شَيْنِ قَدِيرٌ He is definitely powerful over everything. وَيَوْمَ يَوْرَدُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا عَلَىٰ النَّارِ And recall the day when these people who disbelieve, they will be presented before the fire. أَلَيْسَ هَذَا بِالْحَقِّ And then they will be asked, is it not true? Is it some fiction? Was that some forgery of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? You used to laugh at it. Alaysa hadha bil haq. Is this not the truth? Qalu bala wa rabbina. This will say, why not? And we swear by you, O our Lord, it is the truth. Qala fasuku al-azaba bimakim tul takfaroon. And then finally Allah would say, okay then, taste the chastisement because of what you used to disbelieve. Now the final address to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَصْبِرْ كَمَا صَبَرَ عُلُ الْعَزْمِ مِنَ الرُّسُلِ So Muhammad endure patiently just as our messengers of the past who had strong character and will they endured. You know, the number of the prophets of Allah, due to, according to certain traditions, is 124,000. Messengers, 313. And this number somehow corresponds. 124,000 Muslims were present on the eve of last Hajj of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And 313 were with him in the battle of Badr. The same number as is of the messengers. Out of these five or seven, mostly five, they are said to be Ulul Azmi min al Rusul. People of the strongest character, strongest forbearance. And they are the same which we read in Surah Al-Shura. شَرَعَ لَكُمْ مِنَ الدِّينِ مَا وَصَّى بِهِ نُوحًا وَالَّذِي أَوْعَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ وَمَا وَسَيْنَا بِهِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى Five. Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, and Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم وَلَهِمُ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ Some people add two more to this list. Hud and Saleh. But most need to agree that these five are the topmost. فَصْبِرْ كَمَا سَمَرَ الْعَزْمِ مِنَ الرُّسُلِ وَلَا تَسْتَعْجِلْ لَهُمْ Don't make haste for them. Don't think that their term should come to an end. I have conveyed them the message. Now the matter should be judged and finally decided. How long will they be given the respite? No, no, no. وَلَا تَحْتَعْجِلْ لَهُمْ Don't hasten to them on the, on them the chastisement. كَانْ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ يَرَوْنَ مَا يُعَدُونَ The day when they will see what was being promised to them, they will feel لَمْ يَلْبَسُوا They never remain إِلَّا سَعَةً مِنْ نَحَارٍ Except for one hour of a day. This whole life in this world which they are passing, this will appear that they lived here only for an hour of the day. 
بلاغ خازا دس از خازا بلاغن بلاغ دس از ٹو کنوے ٹو یو فہل یوہ لکو اللہ القوم الفاسقون سو ہو ول بی ڈسٹرائڈ ایکسپٹ دوز پیپل ہو آر دی ٹرانسگریسرس Turn to Allah, He's never far away Put your trust in Him, raise your hands and pray Ooh, yeah, Allah, guide my steps, don't let me go astray You're the only one who can show me the 